I grow up, I'm gonna be a cat. You must have a bee in your bonnet. Seriously? Wait, where? It's an expression. Oh. Hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm Genevieve. And welcome to another episode of Meet the Idioms, a series where words have a totally different meaning. Today's episode will be starting the idiom, a bee in your bonnet. It's pretty easy to figure out what this idiom means, because if you had a bee in your bonnet, you would be thinking about it all the time. So if someone has a bee in their bonnet, that means they have a crazy obsession with an idea. For example, Genevieve here thinks she will be a cat, and apparently no one can change her mind. Wow. Let's break it down a bit. I think you know what a bee is. You know, that flying insect that stings and produces honey. But a bonnet is a less common word. A bonnet is a hat that has a tie under the chin and it has a big cover that covers part of the face. Some other examples of people with a bee in their bonnet is Gary Doll. He wanted to make money, so he came up with the idea of a pet rock. I know it might sound like a crazy idea and no one would want to buy it, but according to www.businessinsider.com, the estimated profit was $15 million in only six months. It sold for $3.95 and made around a $3 profit. Another person with a bee in their bonnet was Scott Crossfield. He was taught by his instructor to maneuver different things like a spin entry and a spin recovery in a plane. Then, later on, when his instructor was not available, he went by himself on his first solo and did these spins at a high altitude. But every time he spun, he felt vibrations. When he looked behind him, he saw that the door was open, so he closed it. He had bees in his bonnet because he still wanted to fly that plane. This idiom has also been found in a poem by Robert Herrick. The poem is called Man Made Song, which was made in 1648. He wrote about a woman who was looking for a man that she loved with the help of a bee. It doesn't say the idiom exactly, but the woman is obsessed with something. Love. Be in your bonnet is now a common English idiom. The idiom be in your bonnet was used a long time ago, and it's pretty widely known. Although a lot of people know it, nobody knows exactly where it came from. I'm Naomi. And and I'm Genevieve. And thanks for watching another episode of Meet the Idioms. No one can change her mind. Wow. So she's. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching another episode of Meet the Idioms. And. Cut. <laughs> Woo! Yay. One thing I just have to say.